From historic government buildings whose halls are roamed by chilling ghosts right out of our nation's past, to weathered estates where the spirits of former presidents still linger. Are you sure you're ready to brave my picks for some of the most haunted places in Nashville, Tennessee? Number 5. Belmont University Belmont University, located in Nashville, Tennessee, is a private Christian university known for its beautiful campus and strong academic programs. Historically, this institution traces its roots back to 1890 when it was first founded as Belmont College by Susan L. Heron and Ida B. Hood. Originally established as a school for young women, it gradually expanded its academic offerings and evolved into Belmont University by 1991. Belmont boasts a rich history and has grown significantly over the years. It offers a wide range of undergraduate and graduate programs in various disciplines, and has gained recognition for its music, business, and healthcare programs, with its campus featuring a blend of historic and modern buildings, creating a vibrant academic environment. Like many schools dating back to its respective era, Belmont is no stranger to local legends and tales of the otherworldly, with both faculty and students telling of encounters with shadowy figures, extreme and inexplicable temperature fluctuations, and accounts of disembodied chatter, laughter, and whispering. Easily the most famous story regarding this aged place of learning revolves around a very special seat. Located near the Belmont Mansion, there's a bench known as the Kissing Bench. As legend has it, if a couple kisses while sitting on said bench, they're destined to get married and possibly spend the rest of their lives together. Notably, this romantic tradition adds a touch of whimsy to the campus's otherwise spooky atmosphere. Number 4. The Tennessee State Capitol Building the Tennessee State Capitol Building, located in Nashville, Tennessee, is a historic landmark and the seat of government to the whole of its prestigious state. Historically, construction of the Tennessee State Capitol Building began in 1845 and was completed by 1859. Designed by renowned architect William Strickland, this building is a prominent example of Greek Revival architecture, and has since served as meeting place to the Tennessee General Assembly while housing the offices of the governor and other state reps. Over its years, the Capitol Building has witnessed multiple significant events in Tennessee's history. It played a central role during the Civil War, serving as a military hospital and housing Union troops at various times, and additionally, witnessed numerous political debates and decisions that have shaped the state's governance as a whole. Chillingly, the Tennessee State Capitol Building boasts quite the reputation for its hauntings, with several ghostly encounters and paranormal experiences reported across its bounds. William Strickland, the architect of the Capitol Building, died before its completion, and according to legends, his spirit is said to haunt the building, perhaps seeking perfection in his unfinished work. Incidentally, visitors and staff members have reported spying an apparition resembling Strickland, sometimes observed in the hallways or near the staircase. In the Senate chamber of the Capitol, there has also been documentation of a spectral figure observed sitting in one of its chairs. Some accounts describe this ghostly presence as a former legislator or politician who continues to engage in the political process beyond the grave, and other witnesses have reported feelings of unease or the sensation of being watched while in the chamber. Numerous visitors and employees have also told of hearing unexplained noises such as footsteps, disembodied voices, and doors opening and closing on their own, commotions which have been attributed to the spirits of former politicians, soldiers, or individuals associated with the building's or state's history. Additionally, and given the Capitol Building's connection to the Civil War, there have been accounts of ghostly Confederate soldiers observed wandering the premises, with witnesses describing sighting apparitions in old-fashioned uniforms, sometimes accompanied by the sound of marching or military commands. Number 3. The Union Station Hotel the Union Station Hotel in Nashville, Tennessee is a historic landmark and luxury lodging known for its grand architecture and rich history, and also, more recently, for its purported supernatural infestations. Historically, the Union Station Hotel structure, originally known as the Nashville, Chattanooga, and St. Louis Railway Station, was constructed in 1900 and was designed by architect Richard Montford to showcase stunning Romanesque revival architecture which is characterized by its grand arched entrance and intricate detailing. 
For many years, the Union Station served as a bustling transportation hub, welcoming travelers to Nashville. However, in line with the decline of rail travel, the station eventually fell into disuse and was repurposed into a hotel. After undergoing extensive renovations, it reopened as the Union Station Hotel in 1986, preserving much of its original architectural splendor. Chillingly, the Union Station Hotel has gained a reputation for being haunted, with numerous reports of paranormal activity from guests and staff alike. Incidentally, these alleged hauntings have added to the hotel's allure and have made it a popular destination for those interested in both history and the supernatural. One of the most famous ghostly apparitions reported on site is that of a lady dressed in black who's often spied wandering the lobby or hallways, giving off an eerie vibe. Some speculate this dark form may be the spirit of a woman who bid farewell to her soldier lover as he departed for war from the railway station and whose soul is still awaiting his return. Another reported ghostly presence experienced on site is that of a former porter who allegedly worked at the station. Incidentally, guests and staff have claimed to see an ethereal man in a porter's uniform, appearing as a solid figure before vanishing without a trace, and some believe this apparition represents a former employee who may still be attached to the place he once worked. Visitors to Union Station have also reported hearing unexplained footsteps, disembodied voices, and doors opening and closing on their own, and some have also described cold spots or sudden changes in temperature, likely indicating the presence of paranormal energy. Lastly, numerous reports have surfaced around strange occurrences within the hotel's elevators, where guests have claimed that the lifts stop unexpectedly, opening to reveal empty floors, or even carrying them to different levels than selected. Number 2. The Heritage The Heritage, located in Nashville, Tennessee, is a historic plantation and museum harboring a significant place in American history. Historically, the Heritage was actually the former home of Andrew Jackson, the seventh president of the United States, and his wife Rachel Jackson, and the property was originally acquired by their family in 1804, after which they would gradually expand and improve upon the plantation, transforming it into a grand estate. The mansion itself was constructed in stages, with the core structure completed around 1819. This federal-style estate underwent several renovations and additions over its years, reflecting different architectural influences, and also eventually included numerous outbuildings, including slave quarters, a garden, and various agricultural structures. Jackson's presidency, which lasted from 1829 to 1837, had a significant impact on the shaping of American politics and policies of the era, and the heritage served as a gathering place for political discussions and events, with Jackson himself hosting numerous important figures of the day there. Like many of Tennessee's historic locations, the heritage is no stranger to ghost stories and is rumored to be haunted by various presences. The most commonly reported apparition at the Heritage is believed to be the ghost of Rachel Jackson herself. Rachel passed away in 1828, just before Jackson's inauguration, and some visitors claim to have spied her ghostly form roaming the property, particularly near her tomb, known as Rachel's Garden. Notably, she's often described as wearing a long, flowing white dress or a Victorian-era gown. Additionally, according to some accounts, the sounds of battle, including cannon and gunfire, have been heard across the grounds of the Heritage, a phenomenon believed to be connected to the Battle of New Orleans, a significant event in Andrew Jackson's military career, and it's suggested that residual energy from the conflict may have followed him home. There have also been reports of the distinct phantom smell of cigar smoke in certain areas of the property, particularly in Andrew Jackson's study, that some believe could be attributed to the presence of Jackson's spirit or residual energy associated with his bad habits during his time at the plantation. Lastly, visitors and staff members have claimed to hear disembodied voices, whispers, and footsteps echoing through the mansion and surrounding grounds, suggesting the presence of the lingering spirits of those who once lived and worked near. Number 1. The Gaylord Opryland Resort and Convention Center The Gaylord Opryland Resort and Convention Center, located in Nashville, Tennessee, is a prominent lodging and venue boasting rich history and a reputation for both its grandeur and elegance. Historically, this resort can be traced back to 1977 when it was first opened as the Opryland Hotel. 
Constructed by the Gaylord Entertainment Company, now known as Ryman Hospitality Properties, it was initially envisioned as a luxury hotel for visitors to the nearby Grand Ole Opry, a renowned country music venue. Over the years, the resort expanded significantly and became an iconic destination in Nashville. It would undergo several expansions, renovations, and rebrandings, eventually transforming into the Gaylord Opryland Resort and Convention Center that we know today. Notably, this sprawling property features beautiful gardens, cascading waterfalls, multiple indoor atriums, and a wide range of amenities, including restaurants, shops, and entertainment spaces. While the Gaylord Opryland Resort doesn't have a documented history of tragic events or significant deaths associated with it, there are various tales of hauntings that have emerged over time, with these stories shared by both staff members and visitors alike. One of the most commonly reported resort apparitions is that of a lady in white. Incidentally, guests and staff members have claimed to have observed this woman dressed in a flowing white gown roaming the hallways and gardens, and some accounts describe her as a bride searching for her lost husband, while others believe she may be the entity of a former guest who passed away within. There have also been reports of faint music and of the sounds of laughter coming from empty ballrooms, and others have claimed to have witnessed ethereal figures dancing in said spaces, only to vanish when noticed. Several have shared stories of encountering mischievous ghost children while staying on site. These spectral children are said to play small pranks on guests, such as moving objects, giggling in empty hallways, or knocking on doors before disappearing without a trace. Room 711 has gained a reputation for its supernatural happenings, and guests who have stayed within have reported unexplained phenomena such as flickering lights, doors opening and closing on their own, and the constant feelings of being watched. On a closing note, the Gaylord Opryland Resort embraces its reputation for being a little spooky at times and even offers ghost tours during certain seasons. Whether you're a believer in the supernatural or simply enjoy a good ghost story, the Gaylord Opryland Resort offers a unique and intriguing experience for those interested in exploring the paranormal or enjoying the thrill of a good old-fashioned urban legend, which is exactly why I thought it was the perfect pick as the most haunted place in Nashville, Tennessee. Thanks for joining me for my picks for some of the most haunted places in Nashville. If you enjoyed hearing my histories and ghost stories, subscribe to my channel, like this upload, and share me with anyone you feel could use a good scare. I'll catch you next time.